Hello, welcome to the Aftermarket Report with I Love Stocks. Today's update is going to be Tesla. Miss Vegas is out shopping right now and she'll be with me tomorrow where we'll present our Sunday's edition of I Love Stocks watch list. For right now, please subscribe, ring that bell for future updates. Also on the website, we have our little Twitter link. You can subscribe and hit that button right there. Hit that follow button. Miss Vegas post alerts in there on a daily basis. But right now, I want to bring you Trend Spider platform and charting. I use this, been using this a lot lately, and Jake is one of our members in our room. He kind of pops in every once in a while and posts a couple of his nice little Trend Spider charts, and we sure do appreciate that. So, what we have here is we have it's a little ascending triangle right now working and I'm going to go ahead and draw me a little trend line on that. We'll go up here to this segment bar. We'll hit this low button right here, right around where that wick is. Oh, that didn't work right. And we'll bring her right up into here and hit that right there. That's going to be our little spot and then we're going to run up here to where I think that that top of that thing is and we're going to post another one right here and she'll start right there and it'll be at around 40684 somewhere so we'll put this 40684 and there's your little sending triangle where you had to come up and hit that top and she consolidated right before close and then we had that pre-market Closing right there of the sell-off where people's taking their profit on the run or deciding it didn't think it can break. I think it can break this resistance line up here right around the 406.84 area, 406.61, somewhere in there. And I'm going to go ahead and draw me a little trend line with that price action where I think we're going to have us our little support level. And I think it's going to be right around this 4 hundred and sixty one area four fifty seven let's see if we can pull that right back I don't know if I can get it exact there was a sixty two we'll just put it right there four hundred and sixty two and then we have another support level if she decides to pull back it could be that this four oh two thirty one area so we're gonna draw us another trend line right here where this pulled back here and where it pulled back right in here and we'll just go ahead and drop that right here, trying to make this real clean and simple. We'll bring it up a little bit, right at 481 cents is what I'm looking at. Looks good to me. Then we have a little pivot point area in here. And I'm going to count it right in there. So we're going to go back down here to this horizontal line. Jake put these in for me. I appreciate that. And we'll just kind of put that price level right in here so everybody can see it. I think that support's going to be right at 402.41. Then we have one more little support area and it's going to be right in this vicinity right in, right in here right around 403.79. So I'll run back down to the horizontal line and put that 403. I'll be watching this first thing in the morning. We can have us well, that's the wrong one. So I'm going to go in here and delete that. That's not where I wanted it. Just go in here, remove this horizontal line, and there it's gone. We'll go back in here, and I'll draw this other one right in here is where I want to put it. Bam. Right there at 403.85. So those are going to be my support levels. If it fails this 481, it can pull back to a low, low, low of 397.36. So I'm going to put that in here, right about there, and I'm going to call this, whoop, better get it right there. I'm going to hit properties, and I'm going to change this to a red line, and I'm done. And I can't hardly see that red line on this black, so I'll just change it again, put it into a, more of a fluorescent color stick with this blue right here there you go we can see that one at 397.25 is going to be very critical 
And if it goes below that, the shorts can bring it down to this previous high that we had right down here at 394.96. And I'll just draw that line in there just for the fun of it. And then I'll know where it is. And there we go. So those are the, going to be the two critical low, low supports. The resistance we got to break is going to be this 406.62. And then she can get up to the higher highs. And we could bounce her on up to the 40807 and the 40953. So let's put them trend lines in here. Right about there, 408. That's where I'm going to put that one. And I'm going to change the color on it. Drink back to yellow. And then I got one more I want to put in here. And that's going to be in this area right in here, right around the 409.53. Right there. So those are going to be the supports. You can stop this at any time and write these down. We are going to have maybe an ascending triangle breakout. Now, the thing I like about this stock right now is it's going to be the news. And let's pull that up. There's some good stuff coming out on this trade. We have a... Uh, Tesla soars to the record high, closing in on Elon Musk's $420 per shirt goal. That's what he wants to see. That's going to be the takeover price. Also, we've got that plant in Shanghai, China, rolling out Tesla cars. That's another good little update that came out today, or back on November 21st. So that factory plant's really pushing them out. And then we've got Morgan Stanley's got a bull case on this stock to 500 bucks. And I have a target for 600 by the end of 2020 if we do have us a, a um, good 2020 new decade. Going to be a lot of people excited about that. So this is it for the aftermarket report. Also, I want to remind you of TrendSpider platform. We're affiliate of them. You can follow us on our web page on our, let me pull this back here. You can follow us right here. And there's our Trendsider affiliate. It'll take you to the website and you can sign up for that. And this is the Aftermarket Report talking about Tesla with Washboard Jim. And have a great day. Happy Holidays.